one, one, one. When Daniel Wall wrestling? When Daniel Wall? When Daniel Wall wrestling? When Daniel Wall? One, 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 one. Welcome, one and all, to Bryn Daniel Funny Wrestling. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bryn Daniel Funny Wrestling. I am your commissioner, Bryn Daniel. Uh, I am uh, no longer the BFW champion, but I, uh, I, I will probably rectify that at some point. We have a good show tonight. We have a good show for you tonight. It is 8 p.m. CST, so it's time for the show. We have a good show for the night. We have a really, really good show, all right? We have uh, a lot of treats for you. We have a new stage for you, all set and ready. I know I'm the champion in your heart, but I uh, I will once again be the, the champion in real. Uh, I'm working on my, my plans and machinations, and soon I will follow through with those plans and with those machinations. Thank you all for being here. I, uh, I didn't post a, an update on YouTube because uh, I'm stupid. But I appreciate all of you who are here for the funny wrestling, and I hope you enjoy the show. Remember to sit back, relax, grab some treats, grab a snack, maybe drink a little bit of hot milk. But don't fall asleep, because this action is pulse-pounding and dick-popping, baby. Uh, is Paul Heyman going to make an appearance? Absolutely not. Uh, I know that we're going to be impacted by the Monday Night War here tonight. I know that uh, definitely... One of the big things about this uh, Monday Night War uh, between me and Monday Night Raw is that I'm not going to be able to get the, the full audience here. It's also a weekday, so I understand that, uh, that it won't be uh, as special a night, but I appreciate y'all for being here, and I appreciate you for coming to Bryn Daniel Funny Wrestling. Uh, getting everything kind of still set up here. Everything is pretty much prepped and ready to go. Uh, we're going to introduce the commentators here once again. We have uh, three commentators with us here tonight, and uh, hope you hope you like them. And uh, we have those commentators here. We have James. Yeah. We have Minkle. I have so many bones. And we have Stebby. Stebby's back once again. He's evaded the police. Yeah, I did it. You did it. I I evaded. Good job. It's pr it went pretty well. <laughs> you know, I got a I got a little scared there. I got a little scared after you know. Getting getting shot that one time, but you know, gotta watch out for once. gotta watch out for cops. You gotta you, you gotta do. dive you gotta dive roll. You, it's just like Max Payne. You just push the button, you dodge the bullets, and then you're fine. Really Take excited, really excited about our special guest referee. Do do any of y'all want to talk about the the special guest referee tonight? So I'm pretty uh, excited. I'm a big fan of him. I'm assuming without revealing who said guest referee is. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We want to make sure that it's a surprise for the audience at home. Uh, what do you? What's your favorite part of uh, our special guest referee tonight? I, I love when he when he talks about video game games. Honestly, yeah. big video game fan. Not yeah, many yeah. people know know about this. About like a lot of the commentators here is that we're big fans. We are big fans of video games here. It's a little known fact. I, I, I've played a video game once, even yeah. myself. I I may have done it like even twice, you know. Mario, I'm I'm I think he's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I played that on <clears throat> the on on my Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. I, I I play I I played Mario on the, my uh, Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, not a lot of people know about Mario on the Sega Genesis, but you know that's okay. That's it's fun. it's probably that's definitely one of my favorite titles on the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Thank you, Bob Kitty, for throwing yeah. diamonds into the field. Thank you. Ooh. Big fan. Big fan of diamond throwing. Just just like Minecraft. Yeah, I, I, I'm just you know shiny rocks. I'm all for that. That's the good hmm. stuff. Does this mean BFW is going to get a video game member soon? Audience member Wednesday says. Well, you see, our special guest referee tonight is uh, no stranger to the world of video games. Is absolutely no stranger to video games journalism, and is best friends with Hideo Kojima. Our special guest referee tonight is Jeff Keighley. The damn Dorito Pope himself. The Dorito Pope has graced Bryn Daniel funny fucking wrestling, and he's here to call a good match. 
I Don't mean, I can it. be pretty sure that, that that man will not be biased. There is no sure. bias in video game journalism. There's no, there's bias. no bias. We got Agreed. him here for tonight only. Jeff Keighley is refereeing for the Brindaniel Funny Wrestling League, BFWL. I'm not, I was going to go with BFWL, but BFW just sounds so much better and smoother. I, I think BFW yeah. is a stronger name. First match on the card here tonight. Uh, anything to say about the competitors here? Well, uh, you know, it's just two tasty treats going yeah. at it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm I'm excited to see, you know, the appearance of a manager. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't had too many managers out here yet. The biggest thing uh, is is um this gentleman <sighs> The gentleman who has a manager has been saying for a, a long time that he needs some new direction in his life. Um, mm. And the manager the manager is is someone who's going to give him that direction, that guidance, you know. Uh, and that's what I think um, at this stage in his wrestling career, he needs someone who is able to kind of guide and direct. Yeah, it's not not just a manager, but more of a sort of spiritual guru and guide. Exactly, kind of like a kind of like a spiritual guide pushing him to the right path. Especially after all that, you know, all that Gawker stuff. You know, I don't want to yeah, say yeah, too that much was though. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, was a... <clears throat> you know, hope, hoping we can have a meet in stream, not a meet out stream. We don't and, need that tonight. Yeah, we need to make sure <laughs> the meat the meat stays inside. Don't you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah like I can't, we can't handle sex in the ring right now. Yeah, there's no, the, we, we got to make sure this in this episode. And I talked to, um, I talked to a few members of the board, and uh, I, I gotta say, they said that last week was too sexy. Actually, three of them said last week was too sexy. Three of them said that it wasn't sexy enough. So there, there's a little bit of a fight on the battlefield, right? Well, I, so, I mean so that. We, do we split the difference and make it like eat just the exact same amount of horny? We just keep the same amount of horny and hope that it doesn't grow beyond that. First I up, mean, though, we're gonna start our first match. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get rolling here, right into the punching and the kicking. This match is scheduled for one fall with a twenty-minute time limit. Entering the ring first. You haven't seen him, and he's making his BFW debut. It's French Toast. I mean, really, I. Big fan of French toast. Oh, it yeah. Tastes pretty good. James, yeah, heard, James like, will say. Good at putting French toast. James will say, and James James can concur with me. French toast is my favorite food. James James understands and knows this. It's the only thing I know how to cook. I was about to say French toast is the only thing Brendan knows. And how his to opponent cook. with his manager. It's the one, the only, the immortal Hulk Hogan. The real American. He's so wide. He's got clothes on thankfully and yeah. it's not racist anymore we, th we well, think we think. kind of avoid interviewing he him just made, sure. he, made, he made a tweet that he's no longer racist it's okay everybody Hulk Hogan has his manager uh let's see if he makes an appearance here Tingle at the rate, Tingle, Tingle yep, from Zelda giving Hulk Hogan the guidance there that he is. needs and maybe evolving him to greater heights here we'll see how this match goes a little known fact, but uh, Tingle was the one who uh, stopped Hulk Hogan from being racist. Tingle was actually uh, Hulk Hogan's uh, uh, lawyer during the whole Gawker trials, and that's why Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Remember, reminder that Hulk Hogan Lee, like single-handedly destroyed Gawker. He did. There is well, something. you say single-handedly, but Tingle was definitely you know. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like a, there was there was there was litigation hammer. involved, but he definitely definitely helped uh, facilitate the destruction of Gawker. And we, the world is better for it. Oh, French toast out oh. of the ring. Oh, get that. Oh, oh. oh get that cinnamon oh. smell right get by the pipe. commentary oh. desk. Oh, that was good. Oh, already going for a pin. Is Tingle going to do anything? Oh. No. Hulk Hogan kicks out immediately. Hulk Hogan is always hooked up. There is a chair in the ring. We yeah. need something involving that. How did the chair get? Yeah, I don't know. The chair is just there. I wonder if Jeff Keighley brought it in. Maybe Tingle threw it in the ring to Hogan. Maybe he's trying to get Hogan to, to fight a little dirty, you know, be a little muddy, get a little gritty, get a little nitty and gritty with that Hulk Hogan titty. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the only way to get ahead in life is you need to get a little, you know, down and dirty with it. I, as well as that, I think Jeff just wanted to sit down and forgot he left his chair. Maybe Jeff, maybe Jeff is a little bit winded from all the referee work, drank a little too much dew, drank a little bit too much Dorito, 
and uh, now he's just kind of he's he's working. You know, he's got a good work rate. Jeff Keeley has a pretty good work rate. Not gonna lie, like honestly, uh, I, I'm I'm glad that he's here working for the Daniel Funny Wrestling League, and I'm so happy that he could be here with us. There's two chairs in the ring now. Where did the second Ooh. chair come from? Oh, okay. <laughs> where, <laughs> where did the second chair? Is Tingle is Tingle just throwing <laughs> chairs into the ring? This is ridiculous. Oh wow! <laughs> this is this is a serious case of multiplying chairs. And I wow. thought we had the oh, I thought we had the cloning technology. I thought we had it wrapped up. No, I, shush. I, it's I, fine. I, I, I was going to make a comment about, you know, French Toast focusing on those leg strikes, you know, showing off his athleticism, but I think these chairs are a more pressing issue. I think I think the, the idea of just multiplying chairs is more frustrating to me than anything else. I've never seen the likes of it, and I want to I mean, see more. The match I mean, no yeah, longer I mean, concerns me. I'm concerned about those chairs. Yeah. I'm, I'm very worried, to be perfectly honest with you, because what if the chairs continue to multiply and just cover us entirely. Now James, yeah, you have this stat the case. James, you have this stat sheet for French toast. Can you run through it real quick for me? Uh wait, where did I put the stat sheet at? Hold on. Hold on. I got a sack of papers here. Wow! French toast oh. swinging that big old fat French toast leg down there. I was gonna say, uh from what I can see on the stat sheet here, you know, uh French Toast, very big man, obviously. Very I hear he wide. worked a lot on the independent circuit. And ah, oh, Hulk Hogan's around. I smell bod. Oh. <laughs> I, sm I smell, I smell bod and Axe body spray. I oh. hope that's not what a real American smells like. That is what a real, have you ever walked into a GameStop? That's what a real American smells like. You make an excellent point, and I'm going yeah. to try. There we go, French yeah. Toast controlling Ooh, this match, but I'm Hogan so is not letting go. I'm American. Lucky you. Oh, Are we going to see it? Are we going to see? Oh, no. No big no. fat pin from no. the big fat master. Oh, we're getting closer to those chairs. I don't know if, Ed, uh, if either of these are going to be strong enough. Like or I was saying know, earlier, right French here. Toast French Toast has a lot of experience on the indie fighting circuit. Uh, was a part of the food fighting league for a little bit. And now he's uh, here at the Daniel Funny Wrestling Association. He is a, he's a staple food, if you know what I mean. He's a... <laughs> well, he's definitely going to pin things down. He's uh, de definitely uh, getting his arms ripped off, it looked like there for a second. I was a little horrified. But he's getting those strikes and punches right on Hulk Hogan. And he's going up. He's, is oh. he coming up? And he's down on Hulk Hogan. A French toast slam. Fucking celebrating the French independence, even though this guy, look, French toast, looks a little bit more like one of those yellow pieces and fucking... Captain Crunch. He looks like, he does look like one of the bad parts of Captain Crunch. And can we talk yeah. about Captain Crunch, the cereal, for a second? And how it's one of the worst cereals. I, mm. I'm inclined to agree. Although, personally, I think he just looks like a really wide peanut. Oh, you know what? This could be Mr. Peanut's final evolution. Mm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Bulbous oh. nut. <laughs> okay. Mm. I want to I, I get a little... Whoa! Oh, oh shit. Jesus oh, right, yeah, there's Christ. a fucking match going on. And cross body slam there by French Toast. And we've got a maybe a one, a two, and a... Oh, my God, no. Hogan kicks out. Is he going to Hulk up? Is Hulkamania going to run mild, brother? I, I, I am, Oh, no, he's, he's taking some kicks, that's for sure. Kicks and punches, Please, but no, Hogan no, says no, no, no. no, no. no. That no, signature no, no. Hogan finger wag. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside... You gotta take a stand, there's no need to hide. But he got clotheslined. I, 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 I do not think Hulk Hogan has long for this world. I don't know, this match could go either way. Honestly, French Toast is, uh, is holding his own a lot. French Toast with the more technical moves, Hogan with the with the standard set. Both our, both our wrestlers are absolutely windy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think, I think this might be it. I think French Toast French is calling Toast for it. That he's about to end it any second now. Oh! oh atomic oh. drop! And are we gonna see it? Oh, that shoving tackle! Oh, and he's not done yet. He's not finished oh. with the Hulkster. The Hulkster's oh. not finished though. He's hulking up! Oh, oh god. He's hulking up, yeah, I can hear it! Oh, oh no, the hulking up couldn't save him! Oh. He didn't okay. manage to get Just French toast got straight in there with the interrupt. 
Ooh, no blows to trade here. Just getting the absolute snot beat out of them. French toast over here. Having a bad time. Both our wrestlers are, are incredible, incredible fighters. And honestly, French Toast giving oh, it his no. all. I mean, you have an independent wrestler against one of the legends of wrestling. But Hogan Ooh. getting that chair body slam is going to be absolutely, uh, absolutely worrying to his health. I mean, he's in his 70s now. Really? Yeah, he's, he's in his 70s. That's a lot. Yeah, Hulk Hogan is old as shit. He might be like 69. Nice. 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 Oh, Hogan out of the ring. Oh, we're out of the ring. We're out of the ring now. This is a no man's land, the wasteland, if you will. Well, Both King, these wrestlers, King Hogan, pumping supportive. up the crowd. And getting the shit beat out of him for his trouble. Maybe if they'll go into the wasteland, they might find some cheese. Like I said before, nobody in our audience is social distancing, but that doesn't matter since they're not real. They're all holograms. Nothing is real. A very important detail to remember. French Toast going up. And another body slam on Hulk Hogan's calf, it looked like. Uh, that looked that look centered directly on the ass. And oh my god, French Ooh. Toast almost picking it up again. This match could go to a draw. Whoa, French Toast calling for it. That body slam. It, body and he's slam. got it. He's got it in the bag. One, two. Oh, two and nine tenths. The Hulkster kicks out! The Hulkster refuses to go down. You cannot keep down a real American like this. You can he, throw him uh, out of the ring twice, though. He, he doesn't want to be beaten by such a tasty food stuff. Ooh, I... Ooh. Three... Three punches directly to the fucking crust of French toast. Is he going for it again? Just that shoulder push, that shove. And, oh, what is this? What is he? Oh, what the fuck was oh. that, Hogan? I, I, Hulk Hogan's hulking up. I, I saw his vibrating. When Hulk Hogan starts vibrating, you know shit's going to go down. Oh, no. Oh. Hulk Hogan has passed the vibe check, but can he, can he win this match or at least draw it out? Brendan, he's so old, can his body survive oh. such force? Oh no. Oh, another slam by French Toast. We get pulled back. Where are we going? What are we doing? Just Calling it real close here, Hulkster. Man. Calling it real close. Oh, French Toast with the inverted oh. atomic drop. But Hogan, again, th this might be a draw. This might actually, in fact, end up being a draw here tonight. Ooh. Looks that way, just about. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Neither of these wrestlers giving in. We might reach the allotted time limit here. And, oh. Three, oh, okay. two, one. It is a draw. It's, it's a draw. Wow. Nobody wins. Oh, there is no fucking winners tonight. Well, that's what I have to be seen, but there definitely isn't a winner here right now. Unfortunately. What a way to start off. What a way to start off with a with a match with no winners and no losers. Ting, I, well, you know, Tangle can't be too happy with that. You know, I think he's expecting a little more from Hulkster. Tingle's gonna have to put Hulk through some rigorous training, and the next time we see Hogan, he might he might be a bit different. He might be a little hooked up. He might be yeah. a little more hooked up. We, we on that match though, what was with the chairs? Uh, uh, don't worry about it. I'm afraid, Brendan. Don't be afraid. I do not. I uh, I don't know if I can handle a chair singularity. All, all I fine. want, all I want, is there to just not be more chairs. I, no, I have a suspicion that Tangle was throwing them into the ring to be used by Hulkster, but he, he just didn't use them. Look, I'm nervous sitting in this chair that I'm sitting in right now. Debbie, you have no need to fear. That chair is not sentient. Prove it. Yeah, I'm going to need some proof here. Just cut it. It'll be fine. It's not going to scream in pain at you. I'm, I'm afraid, dude. I'm Don't very be. scared. I cannot handle, like, sentient chairs in my life. Do you know how much of my ass goes in these things? Like, yeah, a lot. 
Yeah. I'm going to have to... Let me run a simulation real quick. You guys keep oh. talking. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I've got the sickness, dude. I've got chairs coming out and attacking me. Like... I think I I think I have a fucking God, I don't know anymore. I'm afraid. Okay, simulation complete. We can get on to the next match. About these competitors, um Dr. Phil. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I well, oh, you know, he, he's yeah. he's been one of our most expensive wrestlers. He's been the most expensive wrestler that I have on the card. Like, like you know, he's double he's double timing as, you know... I don't want to ring. pay him, audience member Ozim. I have to. He tricked me into a contract. I have I have Dr. Phil money again, and he has to make a uh, an appearance. It's, it you just, know, you know, there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, he's double, got... Dr. Phil has me by the balls, all right? Double timing with fighting in the ring and also providing therapy to every single wrestler in Brendaniel Funny Wrestling. Not good I mean, therapy either. No, oh, no, but we are still paying him for it. God. Like, every single member of BFW is absolutely traumatized, myself included. I do not know about my fellow commentators, but I'm traumatized well, well, we, the amount we, of violence. You know, we, we did straight up watch three or four people die in the last... Dr. Phil, yeah. Dr. Phil prescribed me antidepressants, and I opened it, and it was just Altoids. Uh, That's fucked up. Uh, uh, he, just well, handed, yeah. he just handed me a note that said, stop being sad. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I. I. I, I mean, Altoids are all right, but they're not going to cure my uh, my manic depression. I don't. I. It, it, that's not the way it works, Doctor Phil. Okay, but like, did they taste good? Yeah, they tasted great. I feel better after taking them. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. Can I have one? No. No. I can't right, get. I can't get. It's literally prescribed. I went to a doctor, yeah. and the doctor handed it to me. I went oh, to a pharmacy, and they brought me a little a little pill bottle filled with Altoids. What if, What if I gave you twenty bucks for like two of them? I don't know. I I don't know if I maybe we can maybe we can talk backstage about that. Uh, all right. Yeah, don't worry uh, about it. Not on camera. Not on camera. Yeah, we can't do <laughs> right, that on camera. Right. Yeah, got to yeah. keep it. You know, above board. We got to keep everything above the board. Yeah. I'm doing drugs here. I'd be a no, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. There's no camera. We just have to communicate with hand signals. This match is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Entering the ring first. It's Doctor Phil. He is. He's yeah. back. I, I, he's, <clears throat> uh, you know. It looks like we have a PhD fight I'm reading here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah there is another PhD doctor. fight. Uh, we're issuing another PhD in Funnynomics. Uh, Dr. Doom has one, and we're issuing issuing another degree in Funnynomics. It's, it's Dr. It's, Robotnik. I, it's him? Yeah. He, he, he's egg. Oh, boy. Fresh off. He is the Eggman. Fresh off of oh, the yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, which is finished filming for like the seventh time. It's coming out soon to a theater near you. I do have. Uh, I do have. Uh, 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 I, I. I have a. I have a piece of paper that Doctor Eggman slipped me. It said Pingus. Oh, ah, I see. Pingas. Starting I, the I match off strong. Is... That's his mm. way of telling you he's going to win. Dr. Robotnik is absolutely, absolutely carrying this match so far 20 seconds in. I'm, I'm oh. expecting Robotnik to fight dirty here. Oh, you I'm never know. Sick. You never know. We have our special guest referee, Jeff Keighley, and he's going to make sure that the gamers are absolutely, like, satisfied with this match no matter what. I mean, Dr. Robotnik may be powered up because you have to remember that he is a video game character, and this close to Jeff Keighley, he, he's... Probably getting powered up from you this. get a boost. I don't know. Has has Doctor Robotnik won a game award? Oh shit, you're right. Actually, he might be. He might get a debuff. Hmm, that's true. The, uh, Sam Death Stranding, I think, would be more powerful in Keeley's presence. But uh... oh, Doctor Phil with those funny weird. slaps. He's on a delivery. Doctor Phil with those yeah. medicated slaps. That's a, that's a prescription I do not want to receive. Robotnik really going in hard with the, uh, the the big old like scoops, just scooping him up and tossing him around. But those medicated slaps from Doctor Phil, most of his strategy is medicated slaps. I you know I'm surprised that that's legal in the medical world. Oh God, he's pulling at his fucking scalp. He's trying to rip off whatever hair he has left. 
add it to his mutton chops. Yeah. I was I wondering mean, why they always get bigger. I imagine Dr. Phil is much like Samson from the Bible, where most of his power comes from his hair. He's giving him the nipple twister. Oh, oh, oh push oh. him off. Robotnik fights through. Fights through and perseveres. Because here's the thing. Sonic the Hedgehog may defeat Robotnik at every turn, but guess who pops up the next day like a bad case of the herp? It's oh, Eggman. So oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's Eggman. It's Eggman Eggman does that. Eggman does Egg, things. Egg, Eggman with the fucking salmonella strikes here. He's giving oh, him that. Oh, we're going to see it. One, Ooh. two. Oh, no, he pushes out Eggman with his considerable heft, trying to trying to kind of get the advantage on Dr. Phil here. I mean, both of our doctors have some pretty considerable heft. Actually. Both of our doctors are quite hefty and pretty winded already. That is true. You know, it takes oh, a lot of energy. He's wobbling like an egg. Oh, he's going for that choker. He's got him in a hold. Mm. Will absolutely not be fucking stopped here. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dr. Eggman oh. sitting down again. One, two. Oh, so close. Ooh. Those those close yeah. pins, those two counts by Dr. Eggman. I mean, to be fair, oh. I don't know how strong that pin is going to be against Dr. Phil because Dr. Phil strikes me as the man to eat ass. I mean, if any man eats ass, I think it's Dr. Phil. If they're- right. oh, nope, Dr. Phil trying to rip out the eye of Eggman. <coughs> Put the goggles on, Eggman! Oh, here we go, we're gonna see a power bomb. The, oh, uh, another power bomb! <laughs> a triple power bomb! Oh. And a pin! And an oh, immediate oh, kick out. out. So quick. Dr. Robotnik not even humoring that shit. Not even getting a one count for that pin. Just absolutely getting right the fuck back up and taking it in stride. Taking it like a champion. You know, we said this this today's match would be as horny as the last week's, and I think, you know, this oh. has been fulfilled. It, well, no, it hasn't. Not yet. Are we going to go. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Power Ooh, bomb reversal from Robotnik. Right He's a crowd pleaser. He's really pleasing that crowd out here tonight. I mean, strike. Eggman is shaped for your pleasure. Yeah. Oh no, and a face sitting from Dr. Oh, Phil! No! Oh, so close. Oh, yeah. Both these men going for the traditional face sitting pin. Mm. Scary stuff. Is he going and, for again? Oh, no, he, oh, he can't, he can't, he, can't he can't get up there. It's too slippery. I've covered the ropes in butter. Mm. Ah. I think that might have been, you know, French toast climbing up all over those things. Yep, some of the butter and syrup has slicked off onto the rest of the ring. We don't have a cleaning crew. I can't afford it. I'll, I'll just, I'll lick the ropes clean. We just wait for it to kind of crust over. Yeah. Mm, crunchy. Strong arming Dr. Phil here. God, Dr. It's... Phil with that just incredible strength, though. Showing off Whoa. those guns to the audience here. That what might have been a mistake. Knows? Might have been a little bit of a mistake there, as Robotnik also shows those guns off to the audience. There's welcome to the goddamn gun show, everybody. Robotnik's spending all the time on the ground here. Doesn't look good for him. He's, you know, the with the amount of time that Robotnik lays on his back, do you think he's going to get bed sores? Maybe. Maybe. I think just like oh anything. oh oh a fork. Oh, a fork! <laughs> Yeah. The famous Eggman fork. Dr. Phil you is bloodied. He's working oh. on that spot where he forked, and Dr. Robotnik, he's, Dr. Robotnik oh. is big enough to jump up there. He has enough power and strength to get up on that I, top turnbuckle. I think Robotnik was trying to eat him. Maybe. Maybe he's a little hungry. Maybe the match yeah. already has him a little winded. You know, I, I feel like uh, Robotnik's like one of those, one of those like, egg doll things that like you push them down they come back up again and another triple power bomb from dr phil robotnik ain't just he's just breezing through it doesn't give a shit oh what the what was what oh, was that robotnik has followed through with the strike that's that's a lot of blood for a fork to the skull oh no robotnik dr really phil dr phil he's ready oh. for it oh he's doing a big he's, stepping he's posturing oh He's just standing over him menacingly. Now they're trading blows. What the fucking... Oh! Man. 
straight down. Oh! Nice reversal from Robotnik here. Oh, he's ready. He's primed for a strike. Oh! And what fucking is these doing with his leg like that? I have no fucking clue. The thing about this match is both men just are not getting enough momentum to knock them down. It's like one of those bopper clowns that you see. You knock it over, but it just gets right the fuck back up before you can do anything about it. Well, we're going to the middle yeah, of this. As I was saying, Eggman's advantage of being shaped like one of those and immediately rolling back upwards. Yep. Ooh, these fucking oh, Dr. Fell going for that pin. We might see oh. it. A one, a two, and a three. And Dr. this is why Phil. Dr. Phil yeah. gets the big bucks here at BFW. Oh. I really hope we do not have to pay for Dr. Phil's medical bill. We will. We always have to. Unfortunate. You know? Like, fun, fun fact, uh, we don't actually pay any other wrestlers here at BFW. It all goes to Dr. Phil. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, actually, most most of our wrestlers here are actually uh, death row inmates that have been, you know, brought here for a second chance. That's that's why we are allowed to do death matches. That is very true. Yeah. You know. I've actually like, heard uh, 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 backstage here, uh, Dr. Phil is uh, ready for an interview if one of you guys wants to get back there. Ooh. Um, sure. I'll, I'll I'll give Dr. Phil a talk down. I'll, you I'll know, give... It would be an honor, but I think stabbing this one's yours. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do it. I'll talk to Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, give me a uh... see. Let's. See oh, let me. Uh, sorry, I'm 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 setting up the camera. I'm getting the camera back there. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I got I gotta get my, my fucking mic set up. Are you kidding me? Come on. Give me give me a little. Give me a little. Give me a little. Give me a little something. The interview's ready, Stebby. Get back ah. there. Ah, here I go. Hello. Uh, Hi. Uh, uh, oh. oh, ma. Oh, ma. That was uh, quite a match there. Well, g g I mean, yeah, Dr. Phil, you fucking showed up. Got a fork stuck in you. Uh, my opponent, uh, he gave it his all, but I am now a certified professor in funnynomics, and that means that I am uh, going to be uh, fighting for a, uh, a championship soon. I, I think that it is uh, Dr. Phil's time to, uh, to, to shine, you know? I, I, I mean, of, of course, with all those fucking, with all the dollars you're paying, getting paid here, you know, you have to shine. You need to. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I negotiated my contract uh, quite well. I think that uh, $50,000 a night is uh, an absolute, uh, 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 an absolute uh, perfect amount for someone as skilled as me. Uh, I think that I am uh, worthy of being uh, in the BFW, and I thank uh, Brendaniel uh, for giving me uh, the chance. I mean, they're paying me in ketchup and saltine crackers, so I, I can I can see how you know fifty thousand dollars. That's that's some money. That's that's a cash amount. I'm I'm a fan of that. I wish they would pay me more. You know, we can we can negotiate that later. Is that uh, uh yeah? The, uh, anyway, uh, thank you, uh, uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I'm gonna just head on over here. Bye. What about the Altoids? Uh, I, I think. He's gone. Oh. Wow, good interview. Good interview, Stebby. Wait, Stebby, they they pay you? What? Yeah, yeah. I get I get I get a pack of saltine and crackers and ketchup here. What are, I, they're they're not paying you? They just like they made me bring my own chair. Huh. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, I guess that I guess was a I'm great good. interview, Stebby. Thank you so much for that. Setting up on the next match here, it is a match for the tag team titles, ladies and gentlemen. The TTT. Oh, the TTT. Not to be confused with the Tubble Trump Debo. The Tubble and Tabby Town. Fuck. I don't you know even how... know what that was. I don't even know if that was don't English. Worry about it. I can't be bothered to know what things are or what words mean. Not not about that. 
I'm about just, you know, half-assing it. That's my deal. No yeah. thoughts. Empty. Makes sense, I guess. Hmm. Blah, blah. Yeah. Blah, blah. Yeah, I got yeah. garbage in my throat. Well, Speaking yeah. of garbage, uh, neither of our teams are going to be garbage. We've got, you know, title defense here. Superb transition, though. It's important stuff. And um, uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but this is not the first time that they have been defending their belt. Is this it? is this is the second time. The first time was up against the X Files, uh, Mulder and Scully, and they lost. Uh, that means after that match, I realized that I'm going to have to set. Uh, I'm going to have to set up. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to set up uh, uh, tag matches to be 30 minutes. We got a, we got, we got yeah, a, we, was, Oh yeah, yeah, that did end in a draw, didn't it? You know what, let's say, let's just give them 45 minutes to work with, just so we, it, it, we give them a fair shake, a good chance. We're going to make sure everything's above the board here at BFW, especially for this brand new team. Yeah, I mean, right above the board, but what's the board made of is something we've got to ask. Well, let me tell you something about boards. You know. It's something that you're not when you're watching the BFW. <laughs> For certain. You know, well, our competitors, however, might be. Oh yeah. Well, it might be a little might be a little bored. Speaking of speaking of bored, I've got some I've got some details. Uh the tag coming in, you know, after after the defeat of the last, you know what it, what's the word? What's the word for when you go up and fight the big boss? The competitor? The challenger? Uh, the the challenger. After the last, challenger. After the last challengers, you know, got, you know, completely murdered out there. We've, we've got a tag with some, you know, emotional support coming in here. We have a, we have a, we have a squad, uh, and it's great. They're making their debut here, and I'm really excited for them. And I hope the audience likes this brand new squad of, um, video game meets movie meets cartoon. And it's, it's, Three, three good boys who all have something in common. Uh, absolutely uh, wonderful, honestly. I mean, I, I, I know yeah. who I'm rooting for. Oh, yeah. I mean, not, not we not all know you. who you're rooting for, Minkle. Knock on wood. Rooting. But... Rooting for. <laughs> <laughs> this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. It is for the BFW Tag Team Championship. Entering first, the challengers. Groot and Mokujin, the Wood Squad, with their manager, Plank, from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. There's, you know, knock on wood. Hope to see some good fighting here. Some good wood. Some good wood. Good wood. Let me, let me tell you about wood. Let me tell you about the Wood Squad here. Fucking, you get splinters and the champions. The team of Kyle Gass and Jack Black. It is Tenacious D. They're back. They haven't got the pick, but they're here. You know, it's it's the wood versus the D. I mean, these, two men, have fought, these two men have fought Satan and won. That is true. They're the most powerful men on the planet. Dante you know, how strong is men versus wood? Who knows? We're about to find out. Yeah. I see that uh, Mokujin here happens to have uh, similar uh, handballs like Brendan does. No, no, that's that's actually uh, uh, Mokujin just legitimately has those. That's part of his body. Oh, that's a oh, real that. thing. That's not like his hands or anything. His hands are balls in Tekken. I know very little about that character. It's all good. You you know Groot though because you love the Marvel movies. James, give me one of your sweet Marvel movie facts. There's Plank right there. Looking, looking, there is looking Blake suspicious. staring on. Uh, Marvel movie fact. Uh, fact. It has Robert Downey Jr. in it. All right, give me oh. another. Roll another Marvel movie fact for me, James. Uh, oh, Robert Downey Jr. plays Iron Man. <laughs> give me another Marvel movie fact. Iron Man is dead. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a real oh. fact right there. Oh, oh God. Oh. Groot, Groot we're getting oh, right God. out of it. Minkle, give me a DC movie fact. Minkle. Both Batman. Shut the fuck up, Minkle. And Superman have the okay. <laughs> Here we go. Once again, nobody cares about the DC cinematic universe. They're adding John Cena to it. 
Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, what they the would fuck? never. Why would you ever add a wrestler to your to your superhero movie cinematic universe? That'd be like having Batista in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Why? Why wouldn't you just add? Why, why would you, you just add like, the cinematic universe characters to your wrestling like normal people? I mean, fucking, who the fuck even watches wrestling anymore? Wait. Wait. I mean, wait. No, we're not what? watching. All right. Different. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, but not, uh, not to say the audience shouldn't. Well, yeah. 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 Y you know, mo little known fact about Mokujin. If you're not a, if you're not a, if you're not a Tekken aficionado, uh, Mokujin actually doesn't have any of his own moves. He just steals moves from everybody else. So if you pay attention, you may see some signature Tekken strikes. You may see Groot also kicking Jack Black in the balls here. He is wow. Groot, and he is pissed. Absolutely brutal. Uh, Groot, Groot going for those acorn shots at every chance. Maybe one? Oh, all right, a one. No. Just just the one. You oh, know. geez. Groot going for those swift strikes. Maybe the management from Plank is going to be good here. The emotional support in itself is going to be worth it for sure. Oh, oh Groot. ruining the life of the two men. Groot's going to make sure Jack Black never comes back. Let's see. Mokujin tagging in. Gonna make him regret doing two Jumanji movies. Ooh. Oh. Two? Yeah, two. There are yeah, two Jumanji two. movies oh. with Jack Black, oh, The Rock, uh, uh, the other one, and uh, the, uh, the uh, Kevin Hart. Caitlin Gillen? Yeah, Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin Gillen. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Kevin Hart and The Rock. I, I know Jack Black was in I I know what you which, did last summer too, which was a horrible movie. Oh, yeah, it sucked. Jack it's... Black was also in the House of a Thousand Clocks. Mm. How many clocks were there? There were a thousand. Yeah. Whoa! One, My... two, a close pin here. Two, oh, two and nine tenths. Six minutes into the match, and already a near fall. We know Friends that Jack is the counting uh... clocks. Jack is the ultimate fighter here. Uh, Kyle, Kyle doesn't have the endurance, but he is like a one-hit KO machine. No, he did just get taken down by a single uppercut, though, which is less than impressive. I don't know what happened there. I think Groot summoned some was... kind of like invisible force field with his yaoi hands. He did a little jump. Ooh. I don't ever want to hear you mention Groot's yaoi hands. You don't want to mention... There. Here's the thing is, unfortunately, a lot of competitors here at the BFW suffer from a disease that is ravaging Funny City, which is Yaoi Hand Syndrome or that YHS. Yep. Your, your hands get big and you want to kiss the nearest boy. And Groot is, uh, Groot is, uh, Groot is going through that. Hmm. The, uh, interesting strategy there. Yeah. Like, doing the pin in the corner of your opponent. I do not think you're going to get very far with a strategy like that. Groot's no, it doesn't to... make much sense. Here's the thing you is know, you want to you want to create the optimal the optimal tag area essentially. You want to bring your opponent to your corner and and kind of tag in and out, but the Brendaniel Funny Wrestling League's tag division is is woefully new. It is still we're still learning and and growing. It's, a lot of these competitors are not traditional wrestlers, so they are figuring it out as they go. Much like the trees of the forest, the wood squad will grow. Ooh, with the fucking bob of fucking, what is it, two? I don't fucking, I don't remember Tekken Front flip. Nation. Front flip. Yeah. I yeah. forget what fucking move that is. Whoa. I don't know anything. Code breaker on Mokujin there. Jesus. Oh, double team, double drop oh. kick by Team Extreme, the funny that's boys. The, that's the second time we've seen that double, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, double down. Uh, double down drop kick. I mean, if we had two Neil Breens here, they would do a double down drop kick. They Let's would. be honest here. We're going to see a one, Ooh. a two, and a, a no, stoppage no, by no. Jack Black. Jack Black is furious. He's not letting this go. Jack Black does not want to lose that belt. Jack Black is mad because now that I, I've changed the tag rules and the I tag timer to 45 minutes... Uh, they can't just kind of it, it, try a little bit and then just run the match to 20 and keep their belts. Did, did Kyle Gats just fall over? Yeah, probably. He's slippery. Uh, Whoa, that palm strike. You know, hitting, hitting him with the meat of your palm, that's going to put the most matter. That's where they keep all of the fat in your hand is in the palm, meaning that those strikes are just going to resonate throughout the entire body. 
I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Groot, Groot is uh, Groot is definitely the better worker here of the two. I don't know why Jack was guiding him to the corner, maybe trying to call a, a, a fair fight here. Maybe Jack Black got confused and thought he was going to tag out, but, you know, because Team Extreme has, you know, had a very good, you know, show here, tagging out efficiently. But, you know, maybe he just got confused, went to the wrong corner, and we've got Ooh. chaos in the ring. Oh, That's here we go. Oh, we're getting a pin. We're getting a one. A two. You. Oh, so Ooh. close. Mokujin kicks out. Mokujin trying to land those electric wind god fists. Can't do it, though. Sliding Got kick from Jack Black. Inputs here. Mokujin tagging in Groot after only being in the ring for a little bit. Jack Black fighting off that double team move there. Mokujin doesn't look good. Ooh, more double team fight offs. Oh, he's, he's really taking oh. some hits there. Although I can't Whoa. say I'm, I'm certain how effective slapping a piece of wood could be. Wait to see Groot. Oh, I'm... and that elbow Ooh. strike onto Kyle Gass. I'm surprised Jack Black didn't grab his feet. Is that legal? I mean, to be fair, if, yeah. if he did, I understand why he wouldn't. Anytime you're wrestling wood, you got to be careful of splinters. Yeah, yeah. Are we going to see it? Oh, oh my no. God, a near fall there. Groot cannot be stopped here. Whoa, cartwheels oh. from Jack Black. Jack what Black is showing him Black? showing him that he does not take this match seriously. Not treating the Wood Squad like a real team. You know, maybe maybe he didn't get the memo that he cannot phone it in for the next four minutes. He's going to have to, the, like, Team Extreme is going to have to go. Oh, yeah, he's going I to do want to say, Team Extreme is the name of Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. Jesus Christ, Kyle Holy Gass. Holy shit. The huh. comet drop from Kyle Gass. Surprisingly enough, not going for the pin, just going right for Jack. Needs that. Needs that help. He, he really pulled that out of nowhere. Kyle Gass was going to go. Want this to end. He just wants to inflict pain. Kyle Gass about to go for that drop kick there, but his teammate was right on top of Mokujin. Mokujin oh. with the standing shooting star press. I don't think Kyle's going to let it happen. Kyle is not going to no. let it happen. Interference is running rampant here. Ooh. Man. Jack Black throwing Mokujin Oh, we're going to get it. One, a two, Ooh. a three. three. Oh. Tenacious D retains. Tenacious D retains. Very oh, Honestly, man. I'm in awe. Even with the support of Plank, they just couldn't take the, the title. The Wood Squad could not fight off Tenacious D. D beats the Wood. The Wood has been beat. Real strong stuff from Tenacious D here, though. Tenacious Tag Team Champions. Show, yeah. Showing that they, that you know, they can get away with not just phoning it in here. They can go the distance. They can finish those matches. They are D. They're definitely not going to speed, though. Speaking of they speed, are. I'm going to take a minute here. Uh, y'all y'all kind of contemplate the matches here if you want to entertain the audience. Uh, oh, and then we'll set course. up the next match. Hmm. Yeah. Matches. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, like, you know, we got some we got some excellent stuff here. We uh, what what are we what are we looking for? We're yeah, looking a... at at least a few more matches. I, I don't want to get out of so minimum. Right? No a one's minimum died yet. Beef for sale. Beef. Beef for sale. No. Hey, wait. Beef. Oh, oh, no. Yo, can, can I get some? Beef. So. Beef for sale. Hey. I'm hungry. No, he doesn't have it. No, no. You gotta, 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 James, did you oh, see the yeah, beach I again? I, 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 like, I, wanted to, I wanted to be early with the post office and all. You know what? That makes sense. Let me take you down to the basement, put you in the meat sports locker. Here. Okay, all right. I'll, yeah, we'll go down to the meat basement. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll just bring the boxes in, all right? You yeah. just want me to start bringing them in? Yeah, that's fine. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, that's fine. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know your way there? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Come on, let's let's keep it professional here. Hey, hey, if hey! You, it's hey, not. Look, if, if you're gonna you get the beef meat. delivered, at least share. Come on. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! It's fresh, okay? That's all. I, I, I understand. That's why I want to taste. No, I need I'm, my red beef. Very hungry. Very <sighs> hungry. 
I'm very well, that's hungry. too bad. Uh, just, you know, speaking of being very hungry, just remember it, just in remembrance, Pumpkin is in fact dead. Oh, yeah. You know, pour one out. If if you if you are of age and you are drinking tonight, pour a little bit out on you know, on, the, on your on carpet. The, yep. On the then, tile. I, on, on your face. I, I, don't, I don't know. Pour, pour one out, you know. Yeah, just just pour it out. I'm gonna pour out a small bit of water on my desk in, in the honor of it. Yeah. Yeah, water is fine. If you want to pour water on the ground, well, on the carpet, that is okay. Yeah. Give you know even even just an F, just an, just an F somewhere. Just put an F. Not in the chat though. Somewhere it. else. No, you can put it in the chat. It's allowed. I'm allowing it. Okay. It's okay. But you know. You, you could just, just like put it on the window. Remember. Yeah. Remember, death is a very real possibility. So, big salute to you our know. men and women in the ring. And fortunately, like I was saying, no one has died tonight yet. So, and, you know, death is yet. not only a possibility during death matches, it can happen any time. All right, I'm anytime. back here, setting up oh. the next match. Here we go. The match is getting set up. Lots of things about matches. Is that yeah, they I involve like the... people. I, I thought they were like the little sticks. That, that's Well, that's... they are that as well, yes. <laughs> And, you know, much, and, you know, match, these matches that aren't of the stick variety, but they have something in common, is that they are on fire. There's a, like, passion. Wait, no, that's the, the other type of matches, Stevie. Well, I, no, this fire is symbolic. Oh, it's right. It's a fire okay. of passion. No, I these mean, people, I... despite being here against their will, they want to be here. They, they, because... It's an honor to be here at BFW. I mean, not all of them are here against their will. No, I'm pretty sure most, of, most of them. them. Just most no. of them. No, I know I'm here against my will. You're getting paid. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, I mean, can you really call it being paid when it's crackers and ketchup? The answer is yes, legally. Yep, nope, legally. I, I write most of the payment contracts, so, I yeah, mean. I'm most I'm of the you should be nice, you should be nice, you should be, you should be... You should be happy that you're getting paid in exposure. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sure exposing you. An expose. You're, I'm, let me tell you, I'm getting exposed to something backstage. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, do, you, do you want me to call someone? Uh, uh, poison control. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, rats. Yeah, radioactive rats. It's yeah. fine. Uh, Nothing we can do about that, though. It's yeah, fine. No, that's that. That's too strong. This next match, I uh, oh, one sec. I'm getting a. Uh, oh, we're starting. It looks like this match is scheduled for one fall, with a 20 minute time limit. Entering the ring first. Entering the ring first. Weighing 189 pounds. It's Jotaro Kujo. There he is. He is. I can't see. There he is. Don't. You got. You got to take the blindfold off. Yeah. Come. Like. You got to. You got to take the blindfold off. And his. Off. And his opponent entering next. Da, 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 da. It's John Madden. Da, 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 da. There he is. There he is. Da, 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 da. The football man himself! Football. football. There he is, the football man. Let's get ready to rumble! Cutie! We got two J's. We got two J's. <laughs> Jojo versus Jomo. <laughs> Jomo. Oh, John Madden with those fucking, like, moon sized punches. John Madden, surprisingly born. born on the moon. Ah. Fucking naturally born. You go the to the first... moon, your mind is flooded with images of John Madden in football. I first naturally you know, born was... citizen of the moon. 
He was born of the moon, even. I, I heard it was one of those, like, weird births where there was no father. Oh. Ugh. The moon has birthed John Madden, and the moon will take him away. But the thing about JoJo is he, he, he doesn't have Star Platinum, so I don't know what he's going to do. He does have fucking lunch boxes for hands, He though. does have fucking does. big yaoi hands. <laughs> Those are the yaoiest hands I think we've seen all day. It, like, yeah, oh, this, yeah, this guy's got a serious case. I, I, I know why we have those barrels of radioactive waste in the back now. That's got to be the only way to cure these yaoi hands. Oh, I thought that was to deal with the rats. Oh, that too, but you know. We don't want those rats getting yaoi hands. That's the re that's the real takeaway here. Oh, yeah. God. I mean, instead of tiny rat hands, they'd have human hands. They just got normal graspers, you know. I I hate it. John Men down. Jotaro Kujo Ooh. really showing his. He knows his stuff. He knows how to fight. This I... is uh, part three, Jotaro Kujo, not part uh five or part six, Jotaro Kujo. And Very definitely not tell. part seven. Very easy to tell it's not part uh, part four, Jotro, because his hands are too big. Well, I don't know why I said four. Well, I mean, Jotro, yeah, part four, part five, part six, part seven, part eight, part nine, part ten, part eleven. Um, yeah. I, can't, I can't wait for them to come out with uh, fucking. I don't know. What parts are there left? Uh, Stone, four and a half. Stone C? Um. You know, Funny rate, wacky racing. Wacky oh, racing. Yeah, wacky, 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 yeah. Wacky, yeah, wacky races. Slippery when uh, wet. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. a part. That's a JoJo part. That's slippery when wet. That's the current JoJo part. I think is slippery when wet. Is that I the current one? I can't yeah. remember if that's the current one or the previous one. Yeah, that's the that's the guy with uh, all, the, all the balls. So many. So, so many balls. So really proud of him. But if you're if you're about if you're in the crowd and you're rooting for John Madden, can I get a uh, Football! Can I get some football in the chat? Can I get some football? And and the, ooh, where ooh, where do you ooh. want it? You want it in the chat. And alternatively, alternatively, if you're a if you're a if you're a JoJo man, you're a big fan of the JoJo. Can I get a uh? I oh, know. I don't know. Oh. I just would, gotta, would it be, uh, would it be oh. too much to get? I smell Old Spice from the seventies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God! Oh. That has definitely gone off. <laughs> John Madden is not Moon Man, but John Madden is as strong as Moon Man. That is, I mean, Moon Men get their power he, from John. He may Madden. not be Moon Man, but he is a Moon Man. There is a, there is a difference. John Madden calling for it. He's ready and willing to go. But, oh my god, John Madden's oh athleticism. My god. It never ends. His amazing athleticism. He cannot be stopped. Absolutely except for when incredible. he is stopped. They, you know, they, uh, uh, it's like that physics thing. Like an object oh, is this a triple power bomb from JoJo? Oh no! Whoa. A power bomb transitioning. Jeez. He dropped John Madden right on his fragile head. Oh, but John Madden going for that strike, that swift, swift hold. John Madden calling out AU here in the ring. AU, can we get some AUs in the chat, please? AU. 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 Working a bit stunned. Oh, John, oh, out oh, of the no. ring again. AU. 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 Hello. It's me. They say that only stand, only stand users can defeat other stand users, but I think John Madden's proving that to be a fucking lie. Hello. Well, unless John Hello. Hello. Commentary disc. Hello. What? Hello. Hello? Hello. Oh. Hello? Who are you rooting for to win in this fight? I'm jo John Madden. If you want John Madden to win, please press 1 on your mobile phones. If you want oh. Jotaro Gujo to win, please press 2 on your mobile phone. You heard, you heard it here first, folks. Processing. Processing. Vote now on your phones. Processing. Error. 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 Returning oh, no. backstage. Oh, no. Returning backstage. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I replaced myself with the with the commentary robot, but we're still working out the kicks. Oh, I see. 
I see. I, I, oh, I, I God, was, is it into oh, feet? I was getting scared. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a project. It's a good project. I'm working on it. I'm oh, making. I'm all... Dave, bring up a, a very bringing up a very oh. important point that we probably can't see their stands right now because we yeah. are uh, us ourselves are not stand users. That's true. Oh, yeah, Jotaro Kujo with uh, Star Platinum and John Madden with Are You Ready for Some Football? John, John Madden's Madden stand the... is just da na na da na na. His stand is the fucking fox. Monday night football robot. I, it's it's very strange to see John Madden just sometimes yelling that he's going to do an attack and just yelling that sound. <laughs> it comes, John. It comes out. You know, there's not only one big match John, which is John Cena. There's two big match Johns. John Cena and John Madden going for that one, Ooh. that two, that three. Ooh. John Madden wins. Oh. John Madden wins. Jo <laughs> Now fucking Dio's gonna be able to take over the world. It's fine, Night John Madden will save us. John Madden! John Madden defeats Jotaro Kujo! Ew. Ooh. Ew. That's gonna be a hit to Jotaro's pride. Nine nine nine. There goes another Chinese earthquake. <laughs> Next up is uh James. You actually got this match. Oh, yeah, I did sign the next match. Uh, I'm excited for it. We haven't seen either of these two in the ring yet. Uh, but I hear that... No, wait, that's not right. Wait a minute. Brendan, I have a problem. Yeah, what's your problem? We have a problem. What's the problem? Uh, one of them isn't the right one. That we didn't sign the right person for this. Oh, we did. We signed the wrong with the wrong person, huh? I, I, you told me, you told me you wanted, um, a, 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 like the Jeepers Creepers. No, I said I wanted the Creeper. Oh, oh, from my oh shit. Well, I'm sorry. I already had. I bought the license to the music and everything already. So I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Course. Okay, well, you know what? This will still be something anyway. We haven't seen either of these two in the ring yet, so. Uh, yeah, and now we're going to start, uh, I've, I've decided we're going to start doing, uh, I, I, I've, I've gotten, uh, I've talked to a tech backstage, um, and we have entrance music now. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah, we uh -huh. have entrance music. Uh, it may not work 100% of the time, but a, a, as best we can, we're going to have some entrance music here uh, for the matches tonight now. Ooh. Nice. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy about it. Yeah, the I, production I, value is yeah. always getting better here at Brent Daniel Funny Wrestling, and I might be embezzling some Phil money from Phil uh, by stealing all his things and selling them so that I can afford I, the I, rest I, I, of the I, I, show. I that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's that's fine. Fine. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I, I, thank I, you, I, Mr. I, I, Coma Toast, for dumping money into the middle of the ring, audience member. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for just throwing money in there. So much money. I forgot to fucking find. Yeah, the problem with having such a large and varied roster is that you lose the wrestlers sometimes, so you gotta remember where they are. Yeah. You gotta you gotta stick your hand in the toy chest, you know, every now and again. Yeah, it's you know, them out by the neck. We keep them all in one room, so sometimes you just have to yell and hope that the one that's we're meant to be fighting comes into the front. We're we're we're, we're there we go. I mean, we just pack them in there like sardines, anyways. One yeah. or two, one I'm, or two. I'm feeling one. one. I'm feeling one. 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 We're uh, we're picking our favorite numbers. Yeah. Uh, there, 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 there we go. One. What? What? One. Oh, wait, wait. Two. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite number is anymore. All right, well, this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. And drink first. You know him. And you love him. He's one of your favorites. It's Shaggy! Where are you? We got some work to do now. Shaggy! 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 Yeah. Come on, Scooby-Doo. I see you. So come. Come on. Letter. Not my favorite. And his opponent, 
Ooh. It's the creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Oh, I haven't, I've never watched this film. I don't know what his powers are. He can jeep and he can creep. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, I, I heard he flies. I heard he flies. That could be, that could be an unfair advantage. No, that is very true. That could be. I mean, you know. I like his coat, though. It's very true. He's yeah. very fashionable. One of the more fashionable ghouls in the ghoul verse. Ooh, going for that clothesline. Shaggy's caught yaoi hands as well. James Jeepers Creepers uh, steals body parts to make himself stronger, right? Uh, I think so. I think I he like know. wakes up every twenty years to like get body parts, and he Something can he like can drive that. a truck. He can. Uh, I can I know, do that. I know he needs his bone weaponry. <laughs> Maybe God, I wish I had the power night. to drive a truck. Who's who's the fucking guy who decided to like name this age old demon like Jeepers Creepers? Well, see, here's the thing: is like um, Jeepers Creepers has been around. He resurrects himself every like twenty years or so. Uh, that's that's pretty I... frequent. For, like most of the time, when you're like an ancient demon, like it's only like once every like couple generations but like every like, 60 years or so yeah but like something, hundred, yeah, something nice and round oh pork oh Lord pork Ooh, he's fucking... going for the eyes yep like my thing is like if you do it like every 20 years like if anybody lives they're gonna fucking remember crossroads from jeepers creepers he's really working shaggy's head here he's hungry he wants shaggy's teeth Teeth. 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 The audience demands blood, and the audience demands teeth. Oh, they're getting some blood. Holy shit! All over the ring here. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! You know, Shaggy has a lot of power in a fair fight, but in an unfair fight, Shaggy might not be the winner here. Dodging strikes, but this is why I won. This is why I wanted to get the other creeper. That way we could have a grudge match. The one from Minecraft, I... right? No, the other other creeper. Oh my uh, good, my goodness! We creeper we fact: the creeper it. hates warm salads. That is true. Yeah, that is true. I also hate warm salads. I hate cold salad as well. I hate room temperature salad. Oh God! I going for that bite again. Salads. Jeepers creepers really work in the head there. Just, he just do a lot of, do a lot of harm, just generally. He is hungry. We, we might not need like the creeper proper for a grudge match here. Because oh, is he going is for it? One. Here. Oh no, he, he, he was going for that pin, but Shaggy hasn't done a lot on the, uh, the offensive here. But he's kind of riled oh. up now. He's oh. angry. But will it be? He's going much? Shaggy mode. Ultra Instinct Shaggy, Shaggy Blanco. Oh, wow, that was a technical oh, ass pin. That's a beautiful pin. Oh, he manages to figure out how to get out of that, you know. It's kind of like a knot. That's like it's the J.J. Like Abrams knot. mystery box of pins. You just don't know where it's going to go, and they never explain anything. And unlike the figure four, we know exactly who it's hurting. Yep. Oh, my God, Shaggy with that Ooh. technical pin again. Two. We might see a technical win just if Shaggy keeps playing his cards right here. Honestly. Shaggy bringing it back. Oh. Not letting up the pressure. Wow. The sequence of pins from Shaggy Rogers is really showing that it does not pay to fight Dirt A. There's no number of forks or size here. He's, he's really going for some incredibly intricate pins. Yeah, Shaggy does not fuck around. He's locked and fucking loaded. Oh. He's going for it. One. Another two. One. Three, Jesus Three. Christ! Wow. That match, quick match of really that was blood. that was a fast like match. I, I gotta say, the blood on his face makes it look like he has war paint. Unbelievable. Maybe, maybe the paint gave him more power. Do you wanna? Um, actually, I have a. I, I have to set up. Uh, there's a. Uh, uh, someone's gonna be interviewing Shaggy for the the post match here. If anybody wants to. Uh, if anybody wants to jump backstage. If, if it's all right, I think I'll I'll take this one. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back to the promo zone here and uh, get that interview all set up.
Are you ready, Minkle? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. Is, Sha is Shaggy here? Is he? Is oh he arrived? man! Oh jeez! Oh, I, I, like, hey! Oh man! That was a crazy in match. Incredible fight there, Shaggy. I mean, how how did you learn such intricate pins? Well, like, see, man, I took a course in basic gymnastics, man, and I know that a, you know, and I know that no monster or ghoul is gonna stop me now. You know, Shaggy, I sure do know that, but I, I have to ask, how much of your power did you have to use there? Like, man, I ate three, maybe four Scooby Snacks, and I think that maybe that led to my victory here tonight. Uh, my Incredible. opponent fought Incredible. dirty, man. Like, he did I... not fight right, man. He did not fight right at all. Didn't look right either, man. His breath was so bad. Good thing I found these Altoids backstage, man. Threw them in his mouth, man. I... Wow, I... I mean, I, I can believe his breath smell bad. It did, it did look like he was trying to kill you at some point there, and I, I, that is definitely fighting dirty. I'm sure everyone can agree. I... At one point in the match, man, I did yeah. try to remove his mask, yeah. man, but he wasn't wearing one. Yeah. Huh? He was, he was, a, he was a ghoul, man. So you're saying it wasn't, it wasn't the, uh, the garden or something like that this time? It was a real spooky ghost man. Yeah, man. Like I've never fought a real demon before. Well, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure you've got your practice in now, and I'm sure it won't be the last. And you know, I'm sure you'll win the rest of them too. Yeah, man, and I'm calling out that insidious face, uh, the lipstick demon from Insidious, man. I'm calling him out, man. He looks, he looks awful. Nobody likes him. You watch Insidious the first time and you laugh, man. The second time you cry from laughing. That's, you know, I, I gotta say I did do that. I cried a whole bunch. I, I'm very sad. Like, wow, man, what are you, Darth Maul? <laughs> Well, Shaggy, you know, it's it's been a pleasure hearing from you. I, an incredible fight, an incredible showing, despite your blood-covered nature. I, how, how did you get the blood off so quickly? I have some stain remover, man. I just used it. Whoa. I, you know what? That's completely fair. Thank you for having me here at the BFW, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'm ready to fight more matches, man. You're very welcome, and we can't wait to see you here again in the ring. Once again, another another wonderful promo segment. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Mikkel, for giving us your interview talents here. Uh, yeah, very well done. Uh, um, next I'm, up, checking from the audience here, looks like Weather Marshall has thrown diamonds into the ring. Thank you so much, Weather Marshall, for for funding the BFW. Give you a little kiss there. Like you know, but I kind of. Kind of, kind of rude to be mean to the, you know, insidious demon like that. I thought uh, he was kind of funny. I, you know, I, th I think that, uh, I think Shaggy just has something against demons and similar. I, I guess, demons but like, I, I thought the first insidious was good. Every other one, fucking blue dick. Well, kind of, you know, I, I think Shaggy has the feeling that that the whole lipstick face thing is just a mask that he can pull off. I mean, I mean, technically, yeah, you can, you can pull anything off. Yeah. Technically, the face is a mask. You could just just need to pull it hard enough. Like yeah. you can, like you could do it like Pyramid Head in that one movie where you just rip off somebody's entire skin. That's basically like tearing off a mask. Like yeah, it's you allowed. Just, you just have a nice meaty surprise underneath. Yeah. It's like a human Kinder egg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a human Tinder egg. <laughs> no. No. Well, you don't go to Tinder. You don't go. You go. Don't oh, go on well, Tinder I, I, looking I, for I, chicken I, farmers for eggs. I go, I go on I, Tinder to see if I can eat someone's meat. I go to Tinder and swipe right for anybody whose skin it looks I could tear off. I go on Tinder and I look for eggs. Mm, egg. Mm, egg. 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 I'm a big fan of egg. I think we need more eggs in our lives. I think we need I, more eggs on the roster, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Go, we've had a fight with an egg today already, but I think we could have more. We could have my, many, many, many more eggs here at the Red Daniel I, Funny I'd Wrestling. I'd be perfectly happy with many more eggs. In fact, I'd be very glad to see it. Mm. Yes. 
Next up, uh, without spoiling the uh, the, uh, the opponents here, does anybody want to talk about the uh, wrestlers here tonight that are going to be up in the next match? I mean, we've got some incredibly intelligent competitors here. <laughs> we yeah. say, I don't think either of these guys have uh, fought in the BFW just yet. Either. No, they are both making their BFW debut. They're they're both they both are just a couple of guys who are up to no good. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they're know. gonna start making some trouble. I think I do think that there's going to be trouble in the ring. Uh, this match is scheduled for one fall. There is a 20 minute time limit. First entering the ring, Ooh. it's Krang. Ooh. Ooh. From Ooh. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he's a funny brain in a belt in a man. I, you, you know, he's very smart. He's got brain, but it's in torso. Torso brain. Torso brain. Torso boy. Torso boy and his torso brain. That was that's Krang, everybody, and his opponent. You know him, you love him. It's Will Smith! Will Smith! It's Will Smith! There he is! The rewind time, man. And I don't I don't think he's gonna be rewinding time here, because that that could be that could be I really don't want to use We don't we don't yeah, we don't fuck with time here anymore at the BFW. Here we are. Fucking classic Will Smith. Classic not, Will Smith. Not, not modern day Will Smith. He Will Smith has already activated rewind time. Ah, and yeah. He's gone back to the eighties, nineties, whatever. This the, is the good Will Smith before. So what you're saying is it might be rewind time. It uh, rewind time has already occurred. Take off. Delay strike to Krang. I'm, I'm not dimension. sure what Will was trying to do there. He just sort of did a little spin. I'm gonna be honest. I might, I might be rooting for Krang here. Ooh. I might be a big really? Krang fan. Yeah, I might be a Krang mark. You know, I, I, th I think I'm gonna be unbiased in this one. I don't think I'm rooting for either. I think I'm just, you know, looking for a good fight. I, I think I'm also a Krang boy. I think Krang's naughty. I think Krang ha has like the viciousness I, to win. I'm uncertain what Will is doing. He keeps just doing little spins. He just wants to show off his uh, acrobatics there. Well, it isn't working. I'm not impressed, Will. I mean, if you have the acrobatic skills, you might as well use them. Yeah. Or just grab a leg and slap somebody across the fucking meat. Exactly. Just grab a leg, slap someone with the leg. There you go. That's all I want to see here. Ooh, Will with that big scoop slam. Whoa, He's rewind time. Yeah. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Whoa. Will! I don't know. I might I might be going for Will now. I might I might be more on Will's side after that maneuver. Will's <laughs> more athletic. Yeah, Whoa, right. Krang! Oh, Krang is mind. not letting himself be outdone here tonight. No, we got, this is it. Already an incredible matchup here. Both these men Whoa. high flyers. I mean really more acrobatics than we've seen in most of the other matches combined. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you have a lot of big, beefy boys here at the Beef FW. The big, God, the the Beef, uh, the Thief Wrestling. Here you go, Krang. Krang once again coming up and knocking Will down. Krang going for the head of Will Smith. Krang's mad because he doesn't have, he is just all head. So, yeah. head, huh? Oh! Oh, Will going for that strong oh, pin. Yeah. Krang kicking nope. out, showing and persevering. Cannot be stopped. Ooh, big scoop. Krang not only showing off his athleticism, but also showing off his strength here. Using Two. Smith's. Ooh, using Smith's momentum against him, really. Will Smith getting in all the moves that he can, but really, really, absolutely both our competitors showing off that flying knee strike from frickin' Krang. Krang of all people. Krang. Krang? Krang. Krang. Will Smith just coming, coming for the, going for the dive bombs. The thing about Krang, though, you can tell he's heated. His blood is boiling, or whatever it's synthetic juices inside of him is boiling. But Will's calling for it. Will's doing oh, it again. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh here my go. fucking oh, god! Oh, I saw god. it once. I saw it twice. That's you know. I'm, I Two. don't think I'm ever gonna get bored of seeing that. Oh my god! Krang kicking out. 
Krang once again not looking to be outdone. Looking to take down the Mr. Smith. The fucking... The man in black himself. Here comes oh. the bean. And here comes Will Smith with that swift reversal. Grab him, pick him up, go for the rope. Smack him. Oh, those fat oh. slaps. We've oh, seen those bat. fat slaps encountered before tonight. Maybe Krang's getting lessons from Dr. Villa. We're going to see another elbow drop. Oh, no. Will gets oh, up. Oh. Will perseveres Dr. once again. Elbow strike to the back of the neck there. Or is that the back of the head? I'm not entirely sure. The back of the meat. The back, back, back of the meat. meat. Oh, we're going outside the ring. Oh, Will Smith letting him come in. They're both winded. They're both taking a second. Oh, Jeff doesn't look happy about that. Oh, Ooh. one. Two. Oh. oh, two and nine. Two and nine. You're in a near fall once again. Evenly matched here. Wow. Another two. One. Oh, my God. Oh, Another God. near fall. Krang really falls. trying to call this match and end it here. But Will just won't let it happen. He's doing little jumpies. Craig is fucking hyped up. Atomic drop. Oh. Leg drop, too. Krang's dropping all the drops. That's a lot of drops. Just like I can drop a fat beat. Watch this. Oh. That's, yeah. yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, that's that that's yeah. good stuff. Will Smith doing a forward roll straight onto the ground. Whoa! Krang, oh. Krang oh. just being picked up and going for it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh Krang God. wins. Krang wins! Wow, I think, I, honestly, I can't tell who's hurting who. Uh, Will's shoulders are down yeah. on the mat. In wrestling, whoever's shoulders are down on the mat is the one being pinned. Krang wins. Wow. Krang, Krang gets points. I mean, honestly, I'm amazed to see Krang win such a fight against Will Smith and his superb moves. Fucking unbelievable display here. Next up, I'm getting uh, I'm getting word that we actually have uh, we have some extra time here, so we we have uh, we have an unscheduled match that's going to be happening. Oh, so exciting! Uh, Brendan, I think you I think you broke the card. It's not appearing. No, yeah, no, it's 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 just an it's this is this will be an unscheduled match. Uh, I'm just running backstage and just seeing whoever I can grab. Yeah, grabbing two boys, whoever you can grab. Fucking like I don't I don't I don't, I don't know who who's there. No, I, I can't. I I'm not sure either. It's you know this is the first time that we've had this happen, and it's not just appeared on the card somehow. Yeah. Like you know, like you like I mean, it's not it's not uncommon for us to not know who's you know coming out because the fucking handwriting. Yeah. On the card is terrible, but like, I think this is the first time. That is just been straight up. Oh hey, we have Maybe. time. We need it, to fucking. At least usually, at least usually, the card somehow finds a way to fill itself with yeah. the matches that will happen. I mean, I've I've literally seen the card write itself in blood before. Mm -hmm. mm. It's it's a uh, kind of it's kind of like the next that one book from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, the film, the movie. Uh, Never the, seen it. Just writes itself. Never seen it, so I don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. That's allowed. It's pretty all right. The Del Toro worked on it. There's it's okay, James. I've on. never known anything in my entire life. There you go. Well, that is something. Oh, yep. The card's writing itself. Yep. Out the card. Right the there. card has written itself. Oh, there, you should be able goes. to see the match up here. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Something. Hmm. Man, you know, I wanted a grudge match tonight. I think we're gonna get it here. I, 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 well, you know, I more than think we're getting one. I think this is the grudge match that we've all been waiting for. Like poetry. It is. It is basically poetry. But with right. punching. Yeah, it's it's punch. <laughs> That's wrestling is poetry with punching. Thank you. It's like poetry. Yeah. It this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Entering the ring first. You know him. You love him. It's George Lucas. Uh, I love Star Wars. He yeah. did make Star Wars. 
a little known fact he did make Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars? Star Wars. He insisted upon making Frito say McClure. Uh, he did. <laughs> and his he opponent entering the ring. The one, the only, Rich Evans. Pick the birthday boy. Pick the birthday boy. Remember, it's not a name. It's a challenge. It's both. It could be both. That is very true. Somebody has to. Will, are you strong enough to take the birthday boy? I, I don't think I am. Here we go. Right. The matchup is starting. George with those swift chops already. Rich Evans, oh, Rich Evans getting taken down by George Lucas, galactic visionary, the, the strongest man. I don't know if Rich Evans is going to be able to get off his his finishing move, the Tums Festival, tonight. As long as he gets off his finishing move instead of just getting off, I'm happy. He fucking loves Star Wars. He does fucking love Star he Wars. Does he does fucking he love Star Wars. I do have to wonder, though, if this match could be construed as Elder Feud. Yes. But yeah. who is the elder being abused? I mean, I mean, real, I mean, the question you have to ask yourself is what's going to get to Rich Evans first, George Lucas or Rich's own crippling diabetes? I mean, know. which is going to get to Lucas, Rich or time itself? We'll see uh, if if things if things go George's way during this match. Red Letter Media is going to have a red letter day. That's very true. I don't even know what that means, but I know what that means a little bit. I don't it's like a day, but red, I think. Oh, George, cool. knocking just, down Rich. Cool. Mad about the Plinket reviews, and George with that butt bump. The bump, if you will. George, of course, being the only old man. Oh, Rich, Rich getting him right in the balls. Rich Evans fighting dirty. Right in the fucking cock. Ooh, George trading for George realizes Red Letter Media is not a podcast. That's William Shatner. I can't believe we got the famous director of THX 1138 on here. I, I forget that's a movie often. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about to ask, like, has George Lucas done anything else? Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> He's he, done a handful of he did, uh He did Imbi Amber Bones. Oh! That was the guy, the Steven man. It was also the Lucas man. Ah. Steve Lucas. Steve Lucas. George, George, George Spielberg. <laughs> Jorg. 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 Ooh. Oh. Those, those athletic strikes and those big fat punches from George, George Lucas. Lucas. Beating the absolute fuck out of Rich Evans. Well, Rich Evans is defeatable. But it's Lucas. Excellent question. He is wearing the Darth Vader suit, which wear, weighs Ooh, seven. Ooh, gut buster to Georgie, boy. Ah. But George Rich countering Evans really with just taking some hits there. Big slaps. Rich Evans. Oh, Rich Evans, another gut buster on George Lucas. Rich oh, Evans is fired up. Big steppy. Wow. Every day ends with a Tums Festival, but it's not happening. That step up in Zagiri. It's step up kick. Beautiful. Rich Evans goes, ah! does the fucking see And a laugh. shooting star press, a shooting Star Wars press from George Lucas. Oh, oh. That might have been the Tums Festival, but I can't remember what it looks like, so we'll see. Maybe every day ends with a Tums Festival. Oh, oh, oh. wow. Two. Oh, and a kick out. Two. Not even close, baby. Here, here oh Rich goes. God. Oh, oh, George is out of the ring. Oh, oh God. Ring. Oh, oh, God. His God. pocket is... His pockets... His pockets are filled with Blu-rays. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. I can hear it crunching from here. Oh, God. What shots of Blu-ray in his leg? They are. They are. This is, this is a horrible, oh horrible match. This is disturbing. I... Get back in there, you freaks. Why does he smell what? of sand? What is what Rich is doing? Rich? Yeah! What? Are you doing? what? <laughs> Rich just I, celebrating. Didn't realize Rich knew how to Wow! Yeah. I didn't know George Lucas was so oh. fucking acrobatic. Holy Another shit! One. 
That 450 Ooh. splash and then a shooting star press. Oh my God. George Luke is showing that he is truly a master of the Terrace Kasai. God. Are we going to see it? Another gut buster from Rich. Rich is amped up. Pitching a temper tantrum over Star Wars. He's pissed. He's mad weird. about Star Wars. I, I don't think any of us could have predicted that George Lucas would be the fastest man alive. Wow. Ooh. Near fall from Rich Evans. He is defeatable, but he might be undefeatable here at Brindaniel Funny Wrestling. George is looking a bit out of breath. George is a little gassed, but God, Rich is just, just showing his strength here. Crunching him up. He is about to finish this oh, man. Product. Oh, Jesus. I don't, I don't know if that hurt George more than it hurt Rich there. And again with it. Man. Winded cannot capitalize over these big, powerful strikes here. Oh, here he goes again. Rich Evans dropping him right on his fucking head. Ooh, picking him back up. Going for the rope. It's, it's a shoulder tackle. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, close line. Oh no, a, a freaking force oh, choke oh, slam. Oh no, Rich Evans has tapped out. George Lucas is the winner. Ooh. Rich Evans oh. is defeatable. Rich Evans has experienced product and now he'll just have to get excited for next product. It's uh, audience really liked that match, but I'm, I'm still surprised that George has won. George, 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 George. Wow, George. I, I'm oh. amazed by the speed of Gorg. And now he's going to re-re-re-release -re 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 a new edition of Star Wars. Where he beats up Greedo. Greedo is now the main character of Star Wars. Oh, man. Are you ready for the McClunky cut? I cannot wait for that. It's gonna happen. The new edit, the new edit Greedo only says McClunky and nothing else. And Greedo in every shot. He, gr Grigo shot. He's always there. He never Grigo disappears. <laughs> gr remember, Greedo shot first. That's that's the Greedo cut. Yep. That he did. Let's talk about this next match here. What is, what is, what's this next yeah. Next on the card is a yeah. scheduled match for the Wacky Hijinks yeah. Championship. Todd is once oh. again, once again, Todd is sending in a goon. Is he back again? He's back again. Oh, God, he really won't stop, will he? He won't. He wants that title back. He is back. And, you know, frankly, I think that, I think that it's time for Xavier to drop the belt. I, you know, I, I'm fine with Xavier, with Xavier dropping the belt. I just don't want it to be to Todd. Or I Todd's cronies. Yeah. Todd's cronies. Yeah. He's just, you know, he, he's not really fighting. He's just using his money. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is this is this is going to be another one of Todd's cronies, a, a weaker crony. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking just a, just probably one of the. I, I think this match is going to be end, ending pretty fast. If, if you ask me, I don't think this is going to be a, uh, a, 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 I don't think this is going to be a, uh, a, 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 a long match. You know what I mean? Well, it, I certainly hope that we won't have to deal with Todd again after this. All right. Well, this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit entering the ring first. It is. It's the adoring fan. I don't like that guy, but he sure does like me. Yep. Fucking fear. That's a good boy. He's not bad. He's not bad. He's not the top cronies. I think he's he's my least. And here we go. Your reigning champion, Xavier. The Renegade Angel. Xavier really keeping his title in the face of the onslaught of Todd's cronies is is probably very inspiring and very powerful. Mm. I have to agree. 
All right, here we go. We're going to see how the adoring fan fights here, actually. He's very bouncy. He's very bouncy. He's bouncing around. Ooh, Xavier with those that eye poke. Xavier fights a little dirty, but he's like a he's like a lovable scamp. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the like good kind of fight study. Like a magic one. Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it? Oh, the worm! There so fast! Is. His signature. So soon in the match, already seeing the worm from Xavier. Already saying a woo. Already going ooh. Oh god, is that a roll-up? Be insane oh. if we saw a surprise roll-up so fast and a victory so pure. Ooh, tombstone. Boom. Ooh. WWE may be on ball. and that move may be outlawed, but it's not outlawed here, baby. Oh, oh what's Xavier doing? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. He's, he's thinking about his choices. Big scoop slam by the adoring fan. Laying in those swift strikes and punches. Adoring fan getting a... Oh. Ooh. Getting his ass Ooh. absolutely kicked here. Xavier showing him what it means to be a rookie. Just trying to break his knee there. Oh, God, Xavier going oh. for that pin. He mounting the adoring fan. Beautiful. Ever want to have that image in my mind again? The well, appropriate amount of horny, but the oh. adoring fan slips out. He's quick. May not have a lot of strength, but he's fast. Trading blows. Ooh, big kick. Ooh, and another big kick by Xavier. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, another surprise roll-up by the annoying fan. Nope. And Xavier kicks right the fuck out. Not even oh, a one. snake. Little Shaka Shura crime there. Oh, and another big oh. scoop slam. The Doring fan laying in those heavy punches. Oh! Whoa! Headbutt to the adoring fans, fucking Azuras. Go fucking. Oh, dodged it. Dodged the clothesline. you not here for that nonsense. Getting the shit beat out of him. For his trouble. Now, in, in the game, how many wow. of you kept the adoring fan alive and let him follow you around? Yeah. Oh, yes. God, I, I think Xavier just tried to tear his nose off. I always I, liked. I, I, I always liked having the adoring fan follow me around and then just letting him run into combat by himself. It was funny. I kill. I, I killed him the first chance I got every single time. I I quick saved before I killed him, and then I found out as many ways to kill somebody as possible. Did you know that Todd lets you kill the adoring fan in over oh. three billion wings? Face no. <laughs> Great from one to another. As always, Xavier matches are just the appropriate amount of horny. And another oh, tombstone. Perfectly balanced, as all horny should be. Oh, that big punch by Ooh. Xavier. Ooh. Jeff Keeley, our special guest referee, really, really fair plays here. Really, really a fair ref, honestly. I think he might be our first ref to not get hit. Oh no, a surprise roll up. Let's see. One, two. Nope. There's always the possibility of a new champion here tonight. Ooh. Yeah, he's Getting going. Revenge for Xavier's previous hit there. He's going for Xavier's hammies, but Xavier's going right for his eyes. Ooh, pushing him aside, saying, no more of that shit, bitch. Whoa, but Xavier says no more of that shit, bitch, right back. Xavier, a third tombstone pile driver. A third pile driver. Oh, is, is he going to do it? Oh, nope. A power bomb from the adoring fan in transitioning into a pin. Are we going to see a new champion? Oh, so close to near fall. We almost saw a championship change. Oh, but Come here on. comes the worm. Oh, here comes the, the worm. Shaka Shuri. Yeah. The Shaka Shura blowdown. Whoa. Showboater. 
Oh, getting dragged to the corner there. Into the middle of the corner. Oh, but Xavier, Whoa, no, once no again, his patent pending, no more of that shit. Ooh. Crunching him down right into the mat. Ooh, once again. Beautiful dodge there. Ooh, right in, right in Xavier's fucking nuts. Ooh, right in his nards. Right in his god hole, going for the pin. One, two, are we going to see it? Oh, so Ooh. close to another near fall. Been seeing a lot of near falls today. Oh, God, he's going for it. He's going for the mandible claw. Crunch. Craziest thing here is the adoring fan is just really, really holding up a little bit better than I think some of Todd's other cronies, honestly. Despite being choked. I mean, from what Stevie was saying, he's suffered a lot of death, a lot of punishment. So he, I believe that has. He, he may be, him. he may be, he may be the the, the the proverbial dark horse in this match. I, I certainly hope not. I don't want to see Todd back. Oh. Two? One, two. Oh, another oh. near fall. I'm getting anxiety from this match. I, you know, I think Xavier is a... Oh, Ooh. that Whoa. submission move. Is Xavier going to tap? Whoa. No. He can't tap. He can't be stopped. Is it Doring fans up? And oh, freaking jeez, that body Great slam. Guy. We might Great see a new man. champion. New champion! New champion! champion. Yeah. yeah! New Todd champion! Fucking damn it, Todd! <laughs> the Todd. belt has changed hands! One of Todd's Whoa. cronies holds the wacky hijinks belt! It's about damn time. It's over, dude. Todd, I know you're here. I know you're listening, Todd. Todd, if you come back in the ring, I will fight you myself. I will hurt you. You can't fight Todd. Do you think you can just fight Todd? Yeah, you you, yell, you don't stand a chance against Todd. I will kill Todd. You can't. Yeah, Todd wants his belt back. That means that next week, the adoring fan is going to be fighting Todd Howard for the wacky hijinks title. The what? being will have to fight his master. He's going to have to fight for his own digital freedom here tonight, but we have a new champion crowned. God. Let's be honest. Do you guys think that Xavier was going to pull through? I, I did. Yes. I was hoping I'm for it the whole time. he didn't. How dare Fuck you. That guy. <laughs> gonna cry. Yeah? Gonna cry? Yeah. I'm gonna cry. Gonna piss yourself, maybe? Yes. I'm doing it. That's just crying, but from a different hole. <laughs> Looks like actually, um, if someone wants to interview the adoring fan, he's he's backstage with his belt right now. Uh, I will gladly take on that interview. Absolutely. Let me set up the interview Good, I'm not area. going anywhere near him. All right. Disgusting. I'm getting him, getting him backstage right now for this interview. All right, then. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, I've done it! Jeez. Yes, you have. How does it feel to be the new champion? Well, it feels good. It feels great. And I, I'm definitely not going to just give the belt to Todd. Just because he's my father and he created me does not mean that I'm going to just hand the belt over to him. No, I think I will have an illustrious reign, a wondrous reign. I think the, the adoring fan is going to be the adoring champion. I am the grand champion now. Now I am the champion. That means that I am the victor and I will always be the victor. I'm proclaiming right now an immortal reign. You know, I, I, I have to say, I'm a big fan just because I hated that guy that you were up against. So I guess that makes me the adoring fan and you the grand champion now. By but sure? I do have one question. How does it? How do you feel? How do you actually feel about fighting your own father like this next I, week? I feel nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have given in to the darkness. I have been killed over and over again. 
I flow through the blood of the, the, the river of sticks, and I wade through the piles of bodies and corpses, and I say this to Todd. You may be my father, but family isn't everything, brother. Or, uh, father. Well, that is a little bit disturbing, honestly. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I think it's going to be a good match. I'm glad to see we have a new champion here. Do you have anything else to say? No. Goodbye. All right. Well, there he goes. Your new champion. Your new wacky hijinks champion. Wow. Huh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. Are you, are you, do you have mixed up. feelings? I think I'm fucked up. I've never been more upset in my entire life. Good. All right, so what's next? <laughs> uh, the next is actually uh, going to be the main event for the night. Oh. Yeah, I'm just setting up everything here. Oh, oh boy. boy. Ooh, it's it's got to be. It's, it's a fight. It's a fight to the fucking death here. Not, not actually, but maybe. But I don't know. Fight don't... to the death, but it is not a death match. Fight to the death, but like... Metaphorically. Like metaphorically. Yeah. 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 A metaphorical yeah. fight of the, the death variety. Otherwise, it's just it's just some boys having fun. Have we have we announced some of the competitors of this fight? I, it is uh it is Garfield. It is it is Garfield uh versus a mystery opponent. Ah. Uh, a mystery opponent. Mm-hmm. Ooh. He's been waiting for a fight for a while now. Crying. Gonna scream a little. Yeah. Yeah. All right, setting well, up the match here. Setting up the up. main event of the night here at Brent Daniel Funny Wrestling. Here we go. Oh boy. I've, I've been I've been Hello. waiting for this for a very long time, and I I think oh, some of our mystery you are. Thank you. Here's a little something Tired something for keeping me smiling with your funny man. content during mm. some rough times. Thank you, Fire of the Nova, for throwing money into the into the ring. Thank you for helping fund Brendaniel Funny Wrestling. Thank you for Brendaniel Fundy Wrestling. Thank you. Brendaniel Funded Wrestling is sponsored by you. Brendaniel Funded Wrestling is sponsored by viewers like you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't think we can legally use that. Uh, you know what? Fuck you. I don't give a shit. Wow. Fucked up. Brendan, you're not the one that has to deal with like other departments' legal teams here. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I, I, I don't have to, to deal with crimes. it. We're not going to get shut down. I hope not. Just looking for looking for our opponent here. All right, this is the main event. All right, this is the main event, and it is a match scheduled for one fall. It is a twenty time limit. Entering the ring first, you know him, you love him. Gentlemen, Garfield and friends. We're we're ready. Garfield. And his opponent. It's normal. 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 Fuck you. It's fucking normal. It's fucking normal. I am. I don't like this guy either. I feel it's been in the line like for too long. Starting the match here. Garfield Whoa. is Garfield is not taking any shit. I'm Garfield. gonna kill. Y'all no, thought it no, would no, be no, Heathcliff. Y'all thought it would be Felix the Cat. No, it's fucking normal. The fucking usurper. The no, false king. The usurper. I'm 
I'm angry about this. I hope Nermal fucking dies. Same. I hope Nermal goes to hell. I, I, I was talking about a people. death match metaphorically, but I hope Nermal dies. Oh god. Garfield, not like this. Oh, not Garfield's this. getting the chair! Oh. oh! Garfield's got the fucking chair! Holy oh, shit! Wow. He's getting in some heavy hits, man. He's placed the chair in the chair spot. Remember, oh. keep an eye on those chairs. It could the multiply. Chair corner. Oh. oh, Jesus. Oh. Just bouncing off each other. Ooh, those headbutts from Nermal. Fucking piece of shit. I hate this. This makes me angry. You hate this, but Garfield hates Mondays. I hate Mondays. And that's definitely not the reason why Brent Daniel Funny Wrestling is scheduled for a Monday. Absolutely oh, not scheduled for Monday. Exactly just man. because that mean Garfield's at a disadvantage here. Garfield is at a disadvantage, and I would never do such a thing as the as the as the cherished commissioner of the BFW. I would never do such a horrible thing as make Garfield get up out of his bed and wrestle on a Monday. Who do you think I am? Thank you, Andrew, for throwing diamonds in the ring. Ooh. Normal, normal. Only fighting Monday. Garfield on a Monday, because that's the only time he can defeat him. No, I would never, Fuck. never in a million years, the magnanimous Prince Daniel himself. I would never do something as awful and evil as set up Garfield for a match on a Monday. No, it just the stars aligned like this. I didn't mean to do this. This is just how it happened. You see, this is just how things happen at BFW. You know, we kind of run by the wire here, so I would never make sure and plan and proceed to make sure that Garfield gets beat down on the worst day of his week. Didn't, didn't, didn't your match against Garfield also happen on a Monday? No, no, no. I would never, ever, ever in a million years ever schedule Garfield only for Monday matches because I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> I'm not going to make sure Garfield loses every match. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a fan of Nermal. I'm not wearing a, a fucking epic Nermal t-shirt right now. <laughs> you, Brendan, <laughs> Brendan, what are you wearing? Uh, nothing. I'm naked. You... Oh, hell yeah. yeah. God about that. Oh my god. Oh, Garfield with the freaking lasagna yeah. fork. Yes, yeah, stab that Kill him. bastard. Garfield is hungry. For oh, revenge. Jesus. Garfield is hungry for fire. Yeah. Garfield with the fucking Tapatio blast. The fucking Cholula breath. Oh. Double baby He's bloody, but he doesn't seem broken. Come on, Nermal. Come on. Garfield win. Garfield kill. Garfield Come on, Nermal. Come on. Kill. Will this funny lazy cat be able to win? The only thing I hate more than Mondays is Nermal. Mm -hmm. Nermal. I think Garfield. I, I, I think I hear someone in the audience going, Nermal, Nermal, Fuck you. Nermal, Who Nermal, is that? Nermal. Nermal. Hey, that's definitely, that's definitely not me using ventriloquism to the audience. Nermal, Nermal. No, Stebby. Did Stebby go into the audience? Is Stebby yeah. fighting crowd members right now? Stebby, I know, I called for security to do that. Stebby just punched Yo. out Kevin Smith. Fuck oh you. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, I didn't know even know he was here. How, who let him in? Give me that can! <laughs> no, Stebby, stop! Oh, Stebby, no, no that's me. Jerry Seinfeld! Stebby! I'm angry! Oh my god. Oh! 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 Do you know how much anger... Do you know how angry I can get? I can get very angry. Stebby, Look, I will not tolerate normal. No! It's okay, Stabby. It's okay. Stabby. I swear to God, if normal wins, I'm just setting something on fire. I'm leaving. Stabby. You, you, Stabby. Will, you can fight normal yourself if you really are so upset about it. I am that. leaving if normal wins. Stebby, I we so we can't have you go into the crowd and fight the audience like that. I, 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 I can't. I, I, I think that's a crime. Oh my god, it's John Madden! What's John, John Madden? Madden is here! Oh my god, he's here! Who is he here for? Who's he here to help what? or hinder? Oh no, he's here to help Garfield, you fuck! Get out of here, John Madden! John Madden, get out of here!
Stop Ew. helping Garfield! Garfield John Madden! John Madden, get out of here! John Madden! Yeah. John Madden! John Madden, stop it! Hey, here ooh. comes another Chinese earthquake! <laughs> oh no! Chinese earthquake! John Madden! Doomer Dave in the oh. audience says he summoned him with sports! Yeah! Sports! 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 sports. Double teamed! Oh my god! Touchdown, baby! Football! <laughs> oh, One! God. Two! Three! Three! Yeah! Damn it, John. son of a bitch! John Madden leaving just as he came in! Oh. Son of a Garfield bitch! Garfield wins! Oh. Oh. Garfield wins! Beautiful. John Madden knew! John I... Madden knew! He needed help on this Monday. I have an announcement. Oh? I have an announcement. Oh. Unfortunately, I uh, put a lot of stock in normal tonight, and uh, this was not the end of Brendaniel Funny Wrestling for the night. Oh, did you did you invest in normal coin? I, I, I did invest in normal coin, and normal coin has crashed. There is one more match. Oh boy. Ooh. In the contract written for this match, there was a stipulation. The winner gets to fight the current champion of the BFW for the belt. Ooh. Oh, really? That means we are going to see. Oh my god. Garfield versus Pepsi Man. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> two two belts being possibly moved in one day. On a Monday. On a Monday. On a Monday. <laughs> On a or Monday. Tuesday. I have to do it. This is this is this is the clause that I wrote in the contract because I thought Normal would have a shot, and I thought I'd have a shot at beating Normal, but I, I have to give Garfield his championship match. Ooh. Garfield this, going for the gold gear. Yep. This match is scheduled for uh, one fall, with a twenty-minute time limit. Entering the ring first is, uh, oh, you know, you know me love him. Ends. It's Garfield. Yeah. It's Garfield. Yeah. Ready. It's Garfield. It's Garfield. It's Garfield. It's Garfield. Surely Garfield can't. Ready to party. Thank you. Yeah. Just you back to back, though. Like, like on a back to back, to back matches on a Monday. Garfield's gonna need a fucking Here miracle. Here we go. Your champion. Garfield is the simple maths. Oh. Well, here's the thing about math. I failed math. Here we go. Shit. The match is starting. Here we go. Garfield immediately getting the upper hand on Pepsi Man here. Ooh. Slamming him into the ground. Giving him a press. Giving him a slap. Depressing Pepsi Man. Ooh, winning that test of strength. Punch in the gut. I am I, beyond upset. Garfield's really crushing this can. I I I think Gar I think Garfield can put up a fight here. I think Garfield could theoretically get it here. Oh, slap by Garfield. Giving him the claws. Oh, Pepsi Man trying to get a grapple there, but just both of these competitors are awful. It's... I hate both I of mean, them. Pep I mean, Pepsi Man did beat you, Brendan. Pepsi Man only beat me after I took out his brother, and then he also ended up beating me. Yeah. They both yeah. double teamed me for the entirety of the match, and I took out his brother, and then he used he used the momentum and the, 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 the resting period. He only beat me on a technicality. That sounds like a lot of excuses, Brendan. Yeah. I mean, it, it was still a fair fight. It so. was, a, you know what? It was a fair fight. Props to Pepsi Man for beating me. I will get my fucking belt back. Oh, man. But if you're not careful, you'll have to fight your inner demon, Brendan. If Garfield wins, I don't know if you'll be able to get that belt back so easy. 
Garfield already, already, this is his second chance at a title match here. He couldn't beat me. He can't beat Pepsi Man. That's just simple maths, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Again, I failed math, Brendan. So the numbers don't mean anything to me. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't tell the truth either. The numbers, the numbers mean are little bitches. What do the numbers whoa, mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and it, Speaking oh, of numbers like that. A missed elbow drop from Pepsi Man there. Oh, yeah, Georgia. numbers suck, okay? Yeah, fuck math. I... Oh, oh! Down and out is Garfield. Big chunk slam. Oh, Garfield going for that bite. Oh, come on. Garfield using his big cat fangs to just bite into Pepsi Man like a Coke can. This proves that if, if Garfield does win, this just proves that I am stronger than Pepsi Man since I am stronger than Garfield. That yes. will get you your belt. That's how that works. Place. Ooh! Big stop to the chest, caving in. Oh, he's setting him up on the turnbuckle. What is he going to do here? Just punching Garfield in the cock, I guess. Yeah. Remember, Garfield's a fat cat who loves to snooze and elbow all drop that from the number. top. Giving him the you know, I think we have to watch. Does Garfield even have a cock? You know, Garfield probably was neutered. Yes. Well, that just means that they removed his balls. You can't punch him in the balls anymore. It has to be directly into the cog, which is going to reduce the damage that you're outputting to Garfield. Ooh, Garfield down. But is he out? We'll see. Garfield does so. hate Mondays. Oh! Dot, dot, even going for the one. Doesn't need the one. Doesn't not need the one. Big slam. Spinning twister. Ooh, Garfield paying back those dick punches from earlier. No good deed goes unpunished. And no punished deed goes ungooded. Well, here's the ungooding. Here it comes. Here's the Cuba Gooding Jr. D oh, just a nice shoulder tap. Oh, Garfield, fire! Ooh, Ooh. Garfield, go for those strikes. Oh, he's, he's leveling Ooh. up. He's revving her up. Bionic Ooh. elbow. The bionic elbow from Garfield. Dear God. Ooh, God. Garfield Ooh. really working those fucking Pepsi cans. He's going to crush Pepsi man like a Pepsi can. I don't know. Pepsi cans are not easy to crush. Not yeah. like those would be an, an, cans. Yeah, what, what's with that? Pep Pepsi is just stronger, you know? Yeah. Garfield doesn't know what he's doing, but he knows that he has to kill. Here he goes! Big slap. You know, Garfield's blubbery frame has, you know, is a bit of a double-edged sword, but not for him. You know, it helps him absorb blows, but it also help helps him, you know, absorb the damage him. of blows. Yeah. Yeah. He Garfield can get away with throwing his entire body in you. It doesn't hurt him. Garfield doesn't have to worry about self-inflicted damage here. Does have to worry about getting clotheslined by Pepsi Man. That crossbody drop. Oh my God, Jesus! Garfield immediately kicking out. Garfield oh, Pepsi Man has... just falling down. Ooh. He just slipped. He slipped on his fucking Pepsi. Ooh, Another bionic shaker. elbow from Garfield. Oh, the that looked like it hurt Pepsi Man. I, 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 I do not think Pepsi Man is going to have Pepsi children anytime soon. Pepsi Man has already had Pepsi children. Pepsi Man can adopt. Pepsi Man has Pepsi children and fuck their sunglasses. Fuck. Ooh, missing that big <laughs> swing. Ooh, do a fucking belly-to-belly -belly suplex. What the dump rope? They're muggled. Coming back down. It's still slippery for those French toast matches at the beginning. 
Oh, geez, I didn't even see what happened there. That was a that was a fiery DDT. Oh, Jesus! Oh, big slappy. Oh, and a big jumpy, maybe. A large jumpy from Garfield, Ooh. right? Oh, knees right into the abdomen of Pepsi Man. You're using those cat legs to his advantage. Although Garfield does have weird human feet, and I'm not happy about it. You know what they say, a cat always lands on their feet. Oh, Pepsi Man going for it. Oh, he's going for the pin. Yeah. Rope oh. break. Oh. Ooh. Picking him back up. Oh, Garfield. Oh, oh. oh God. Get oh, him away from oh, me. He's oh. disgusting. Get back in there. Garfield. Get away from the desk. Garfield. He smells like cat food. Why does he smell like cat food? He doesn't even eat the stuff. That's fine. Oh, oh Garfield. Ooh. Garfield going for that Ooh, one. Man. That two. two. That three, three. We have a new champion. Oh my god. Garfield is the winner. We have a new champion. That's the second belt transfer of the day. Wow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Two I'm gonna. new champions. Wow. I'm, I'm very gonna. Upset. I'm gonna. I'm about to. Ooh. Son of a bitch. New champion. I I don't know what to say. Son of a bitch. Here it is. Monday has been fucking conquered. Monday has been... I, I can't believe that Garfield has conquered Monday. God. Mondays have fucking ended. There's no more Mondays. This is now Garfield's day. Well, uh... Let's talk about those matches, huh? Wow. I... Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. I mean, stuff, Garfield yeah. conquered Monday. Did a conquered classic Monday. underdog. Will Smith and uh, George Lucas more agile than any competitors we've ever seen. Mm. What the hell is that? No That's idea. me just eating some spaghetti. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh. Love and once again, I'd like to say congratulations to the adoring fan for getting the belt, getting it back for Todd. Good job. You're such a fucking Todd, Mark. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not a Todd, Mark. I'm an anti-Xavier, Mark. Fuck that guy. <laughs> you disgust me. Good. Uh, uh, fucking, you know... Lots of belt movings, but uh, Tenacious D keeping their belt. Uh, yeah. yeah. We really had three belt transfers in one night. Man. Almost, but Tenacious D fucking keeping it in there. Yeah, Wood Squad did put an impressive showing out here, but I they may need to do some member rotation and see how mm. Plank kind of operates in the ring. Mm. You know, even despite the moral support of Plank, it wasn't enough. Now they need the physical support of Plank. Wood Squad will rise again. And that's it. That's it for Brent Daniel Funny Wrestling. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I appreciate you for being here. Uh, thank you. Thank you to my uh, commentators for joining me on the desk here tonight. And uh, we'll see yeah. you uh, next week. Yeah. 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 yeah.